Hello and welcome back to cloudwoods.net. My name is Mauricio and in this video we are going to look at what might be the most popular VPN in the world, NordVPN. There have been a lot of changes to the service, so make sure to stick around to learn all about them in this updated NordVPN review. Also, you'll learn if NordVPN is really secure and if you can watch Netflix with NordVPN. Also, if you enjoy this video, make sure to subscribe and click that bell to get notified whenever we upload new content here on this channel. NordVPN has always been a premier VPN service with a massive server network and plenty of features. Speed has always been a problem though. Thankfully, that's not the case anymore. Although OpenVPN performance is still inconsistent, NordVPN's new NordLynx protocol is seriously impressive. We drop only a few percentage points off of our unprotected download speed while using NordLynx. There's simply no other way to put it. NordLynx is the fastest VPN protocol we've tested. It's not the best for all situations though. NordLynx uses the WireGuard protocol, which is still in development. It's the perfect pairing for speed intensive tasks like streaming, which is an area where NordVPN really shines. Because it's so new though, we recommend OpenVPN if you're tunneling in a risky country, like for example, China. NordVPN has plenty of other features to help those users too. Included with your subscription is a range of specialty service. These locations all do something a little different. Some are suited for torrenting, while others will allow you to connect to a Tor network. No matter which you choose, the specialty services are designed to bypass strict censorship. On that front, there is really no service like NordVPN. On your local machine, NordVPN offers protection too. The built-in CyberSec tool will block ads and malware on your connection. Although it's not a suitable replacement for, say, an antivirus, CyberSec can keep you protected from most malicious sites. It works well simply as an ad blocker too. The range of features and security are impressive. They're even more impressive given how easy NordVPN is to use. Selecting your location is a matter of basically dragging across the large map and clicking a point on it. NordVPN is quick to connect, so the whole process takes really no more than, than a few seconds. NordVPN offers a bit of everything and does so cheaply too. The monthly price is honestly pretty bad. However, NordVPN makes up for it with massive discounts on its multi-year subscriptions. I've put a special sign-up link in the description box below that allow you to purchase two or three years up front and, NordVep and then NordVPN is less than a few dollars per month. It has a 30-day money-back guarantee too, so basically there's no risk in giving the, the service a try. For the price, you get six simultaneous connections. The standard range of supported platforms are available, including Windows, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. However, NordVPN also supports routers and Linux with browser extensions for Chrome and Firefox. There's even an Android TV app so you can keep your Amazon Fire Stick or Nvidia Shield protected. Platform support is impressive, but so is server count. NordVPN has a massive server network with nearly six thousand locations on all of the location feeds are real bare metal service too. That means you don't need to fuss around with virtual locations that might not work. So NordVPN is the perfect VPN for everything, right? Well, not exactly. It's an impressive service, but it's not without fault. A couple of years back, NordVPN suffered a data breach that potentially exposed user data in a single location. Now, the details are messy, so we recommend reading our written review for a full account of all of it. But, and that's obviously linked below in the description. In short though, the attacker didn't cause any real harm. The problem isn't the fact that there was a data breach. Rather, it's that NordVPN waited a full year before making the details of the breach public. That leaves us in an interesting spot. Personally, I use NordVPN constantly. Together with ExpressVPN, I've set it up as a permanent streaming VPN on my Vilfo router, and it works like a charm connecting to my Apple TV. NordVPN is great at breaking into streaming platforms, the torrenting service works well, and NordLynx is a speed powerhouse. Now, the breach is concerning though. If that's too much risk for you, there are plenty of other options. ExpressVPN, for example, and CyberGhost are good alternatives, and you can find 
all the resources below in the description and I leave you the ExpressVPN review here above in the card. Well, I'm willing to let the breach slide. NordVPN has been great responding to the issue, going as far as to audit its entire network. The breach was bad, but given how far NordVPN has gone to secure its network, we doubt it'll happen again. There are enough upsides to still give NordVPN a shot too. Now, if you want to try out the service, you can sign up using a link in the description below with a full 30 days to change your mind. While you're down there, you can also find our written review. Be sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if you liked it and a comment with your thoughts on NordVPN. I'll see you next time here on Cloudwoods.